Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheLionsLover.com. I have another men's body type video for you today. We are looking at Jeff Goldblum's style. I don't think he is verified, so I just want to really stress and put this message out there that this video is, like many of my other videos, my interpretation of a system that isn't mine. It is the Kiwi system. I try to interpret it closely by studying and restudying all of his examples, the words he uses, and the more I do that, the more I gain insights that hopefully aligns with his vision. But again, I'm not a certified Kibi analyst. I can only give you my opinion and my interpretation, but I hope that you can trust that I have good taste. All right, like always, before we get into the outfits, let's talk about physicality and a bit of persona. So Jeff Goldblum is very tall. He is six foot four, and he's not just Hollywood six foot four because a lot of celebrities lie about their height. They say that they're much taller than they actually are. Um, I live in Los Angeles. I've done a little bit of work in the entertainment industry and Many actors are quite short, but looking at Jeff Goldblum and seeing him next to other actors, he really is actually very tall. So his verticality is definitely ruling or dominating his physique. If you look at his body, he has um, kind of a lack of that width or broadness that would propel him into the natural category. His frame is just not dominated by broadness or width or bluntness. He has a body that is composed mostly of straight lines and narrow angles. So clearly, at least to me, Jeff is in the dramatics family, but what makes him special is that he has this lushness to his features from his wavy face framing hair to his big eyes that have a very interesting curvaceous and wide shape to them to the fullness of his lips, the softness of his cheeks, and this general plumpness to the contours of his face, as well as a little bit more smoothness in his body, which makes him look a little less dry than pure dramatics, plus his undercurrent, which gives him a little bit of that yin magnetism. This is why I think he is a soft dramatic as opposed to a pure dramatic. So again, we have to look at physicality as well as persona because this system really stresses inner and outer energy and expression. So according to Kibbe Wording from his book, the soft dramatic has that young boldness and charisma. Charisma is very extroverted. It's outward. Um, charismatic people have a tendency to lead others. People want to follow them. Um, and according to him, yin is more sensual, more charming, more accommodating, more magnetic. It's that yin force that makes people feel inspired to approach you or to impress you or to show you things, show you different sides of themselves. It draws things out of people instead of projecting onto them. And really quick, another example that I like to use is kind of the female male equivalent in terms of just energy um, and like fabulousness because we're talking about soft dramatics. If Cher was a man, I think Jeff Goldblum would kind of embody that specific confidence and boldness and fierceness, but also that playfulness. So here, just a really quick side to talk about his persona just a little bit more. If the female soft dramatic is the diva chic persona, then Jeff definitely embraces that and he has a very lavish and larger than life presence, but his dramatic, pure young energy is softened 
by that bit of yin that creates a little bit more of that romanticism and that magnetism. So just looking at his gaze, you get that directness, that yang quality, but there's also this kind of diffuse softness to it as well. So how do you go about dressing in a way to really support this body type and this persona? This body type, especially Jeff, really benefits from the use of lightweight, luxurious fabrics in very fitted shapes that show off his verticality and show off his felt figure while also adding a little bit of ornamentation, that softness, that intricacy, that very luxurious feel. He has to jazz up these strong vertically inclined outfits with a bit of drama, a bit of sensual texture, and a bit of a flair. And he does that super well with all of these outfits. On the left, he looks fabulous especially with the jewels, um, the jewelry, the gorgeous frames, the um, bow tie, all of these lovely, lavish details um, compared to his outfit. Very, very um, old school outfit. On the right, very bulky, boxy, oversized. Nothing is quite tapered or crisp about it. It's very blunt. Um, it would support someone with a lot of broadness and bluntness and ruggedness in their frame and persona, but it just drowns Jeff's shine. As we can see, Jeff loves detail and he looks really great when he uses the right kind of detail and the right quality of detail. So as long as he has that verticality and that more well-made, luxurious, tailored feel or foundation, the details really come alive on him. They're like spice, but the foundation needs to be there. So here on the left, he looks great in these really bold, larger-than-life prints that are really fun. They just bring so much um, vitality and attention to his person. But if you take away the print, the garments still look good. There's enough structure there. Whereas on the right here, we don't have that polished foundation. Uh, it's a little too rounded, a little bit um, too untailored, a bit too matte, a bit too separate on top and bottom. So not as unified, not as smooth and not as polished. So these just don't have the same jewel-like effect here. He, he shines like, you know, when you put a light on a prism and it just shows you all of these different colors. Here, it's just a little flat. So another important aspect to Jeff's style is his glasses. He's always wearing these amazing frames. And also, he's really good at choosing colors that frame his face well without overwhelming, without adding bulk, without um, creating too much downward momentum. When you're tall, you can suffer from too much visual momentum going downward. So what I mean by that is imagine a tall person and imagine all of their clothes are kind of draping and all of the heaviest portions of the fabric are lying closer to the floor, to the bottom of the shirt, the bottom of the pants, the hem. That's a lot of downward weight and there's nothing that is kind of taking your eye and drawing it back up and dispersing the weight evenly. So really important, especially if you're really tall, to choose collars that give a little bit of lift without adding bulk. So stand-up collars, mandarin collars, wrapped collars that really frame the neck are great for that, as well as choosing frames that look a little bit more modern, more artsy, more sensually sculpted. So the top pictures are great examples of that. And on the bottom, these are more rugged styles. They're just not as artfully or sensually cut and they're just a little bit more heavy, so they don't 
have the same beautiful effect. So one thing I cannot stress enough for the vertically gifted is to keep a unified vertical. You want to really avoid chopping yourself in half, um, especially with highly contrasting tops and bottoms and creating that horizontal line where the waistband meets the top. You don't have to wear the same color all the time on top and bottom, but there has to be a sense of unification or blending, something to bridge the top and bottom together. You don't want strong blocks of high contrast textures and color blocks that you know are genius on people who can pull it off like gamines, but for dramatics and um, a lot of say flamboyant naturals who really need to stress that vertical line, just having all of that explicit horizontal banding is um, not going to be doing you any favors. So here are some good examples of well-blended top and bottoms or separates and here um, they're just very very contrasted and lastly for suggestions I love turtlenecks if you watched my video on Sean Connery who is dramatic I really love the turtlenecks on him he looks great and the soft dramatics are also dramatics but they're just a little bit more romantic so turtlenecks also look great on them but Ideally, there's just a little bit of softness to the material. Maybe the fabric kind of just falls over itself a little bit more to really show off the texture of the soft fabric that you're using. Maybe there's just a little bit of layering going on. It doesn't have to be the most crisp or um, extremely upright turtleneck. It can have a little bit of give to it. And I think it's just so funny to see the same outfit on two different types of um, personas and body types. So here he is with Liam Hemsworth, and I think Liam Hemsworth is most likely um, a flamboyant natural. He's very tall and very vertical, but he has a lot of bluntness and broadness to him, and he just has a completely different vibe. So this outfit on Liam almost looks like a costume or like he's kind of making fun of Jeff Goldblum in like the best way. And lastly, I just wanted to show you some photos of Jeff next to other men to kind of just explore really quickly the kind of vibe or persona they give off and um, their strongest dominant characters. And I don't think any of these people are verified except Johnny Depp. And I think it's more fun for me this way, honestly, to just really openly talk about what jumps out at me and not get too serious. When you start debating and arguing too much, you really run the risk of losing the fun part of perceiving people because that is the whole point of these systems is to explore how you perceive yourself and people and what kind of style you know turns up the volume on certain perceptions you have so don't take it too seriously so starting from the left going clockwise here he is next to joe and i think joe is probably a very jacked soft dramatic just from his body he's super tall he's even taller than jeff um, he, he has this lushness to him and you can see it in his features. You can even see it in his body, despite his um, obvious musculature. There's just this sense of verticality dominating with that kind of magnetic um, underlying current to him as well. And I think he looks so beautiful with his wife, Sophia. Um, they just have that larger than life lushness to them. Here he is next to Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston is a funny one to me because I always thought he was short. He just had that kind of lying about your height look to me from, I don't know, from seeing him um, in the Avengers. I guess his character really colored my perception, but he makes Taylor Swift look like she's short. So he's very, very tall, which is another... Um, good reminder that it's really hard to seriously type 
celebrities because you don't see them in person and um, seeing someone next to other celebrities is helpful but since celebrities are so posed and they're very specifically marketed it can be really hard to get a clear read but anyways because tom is just so darn tall and he looks pretty dry to me um, it just brings out the contrast between their features and their kind of vibe so um, next to tom jeff looks even more lush and a little bit more um, full and plump wherever he is lush again here he is next to liam hemsworth and liam just has that flamboyant natural energy to me that kind of sporty earthy super down to earth um very very men's men like a conventional guy's guy energy um and you can see he just has a very, very different style than Jeff. And you can really see how broad and kind of blunt he is in body next to Jeff. And they're both tall. And here he is next to Johnny Depp, a theatrical romantic. If you haven't seen that video, I covered Johnny Depp. And they're really interesting to see side by side because Johnny is kind of the opposite of Jeff. Johnny is yin dominant with a yang undercurrent and jeff is yang dominant with that yin undercurrent and they both look very sensual um, but johnny looks a bit more soft more magnetic and kind of draws you in whereas jeff kind of asserts a little bit more his energy just reads a bit more extroverted um, so just fun things that i like to think about so that is it for today's video. In the next video, I will cover another type because we've gone over dramatic, now soft dramatic, and we covered romantic and theatrical romantic. So I'll see you in the video next week. Bye.